Hello freelancers. So today I just wanted to share a quick video that I thought was uh, quite interesting. So I recently, as you know, I'm a translator and I also have an agency where every now and then I, uh, you know, need to work with other translators to, uh, for certain jobs. And recently I had this um, job that I posted on Prose because I was looking for a translator there. The language combination was Italian to English. Um, and, and as you might know, this is my uh, my uh, language combination but anyway for various reasons I need to hire someone so I just put on prose and I'll just go through what I did quickly just to give you an idea I, I very simply wrote around 5,000 words business I didn't write the language combination because when you write the post it already comes out the language combination so if people are also signed up for the uh, prose.com um, email alerts you know they'll have already entered the language combination anyway so um, there's no need to uh, do it there it's just very simple to the point Job description I have, I have a file of around 5,000 words entitled Quality Assurance Guideline blah, in Italian to be translated to English. If interested, please let me know your price as well as whether you'll be able to complete it by Monday end of day. Uh, then in parentheses, might have to split this up, but I don't want to. Then uh, here at the bottom, I have please write in quotation marks Italian to English QA in your subject line. And I put it there in uh, quotation marks to make it quite clear. And I sent this out, you know, there's some more information, the, the exact volume of words and uh, the sample text, but I say translating is not required, it's just to give an idea so people have an idea when they apply. So as you can see here, I got 21 quotes um, for, uh, for this job. And I want to show you something interesting. So here's what I did, Italian to English Q&A in your subject line. And, um, you know, it's, a, it's just, it, it's just a very simple thing to follow uh, that I like to add. And I'm going to show you the reason why I add this. I'm going to do this because I'm not very good at editing and I don't want to show people's uh, names or anything. So I think if I do this, it should be fine. Yeah, there we go. Um, so these are all the quotes, the 21 quotes that I received. Um, and uh, as you can see, they all have different, uh, different subjects and different prices that they give and, you know, different prices per word, stuff like that. And, you know, this is why, why I want to hide their names. Uh, but I want to show you something interesting. If I do uh, this uh, find, trying to find on the page, Italian to English q and I find, here it says it finds eight examples. Now, this is out of 21 quotes. However, the eight examples also include the part down there. So here, out of the, in fact, so yeah, it's exactly half. But which means four results. Sorry, I'm, I'm talking a bit in circles here, but because I'm kind of thinking out loud. Anyway, these are the quotes. Then I don't want to scroll down too much because down here below you have the full quotes where they actually write down the full paragraph introducing themselves. These it, here at the top though, it just shows the subject and the price per word and then also their name and some other information there to the left, but I'm not going to show that right now. So anyway, going back to this, Remember I said, please put a time to English QA in the subject line. And, uh, but look at all these subject lines. No one's put it in except here, 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 and that's it. Three. Yeah. So three people put Italian to English q and I mean, I, cause I see this Italian to English q and Look, I'm going to count this as well because quite frankly, yeah, I guess they just didn't copy and paste it, but whoever it is wrote it. But so we'll count four Italian to English Q&A in the subject line. No one else has it. Everyone else has, you know, other, in fact, here, English to Arabic translator. I don't know why that will be relevant. But everyone else just has different uh, things and obviously didn't read the instructions. So this, you know, this to me is a great litmus test because out of these 21 quotes, now I only have four I need to consider because the other ones obviously are not paying attention to detail and they're not really following the instructions. So uh, what do I do here? I um, I basically take these four ones that said Italian to English Q and A. Here's the first one, and uh, you know that's the rate per word. The second one with the rate per word, a price for translation plus free proofreading. Okay, um, and then uh, I mean I kind of expect that from a translator. You know it's uh, but anyway yeah uh, blah 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 blah. Italian to English Q&A. Here, there's no price entered, which, by the way, do not do. If you're, you know, when someone puts a job on pros, then that means that they, uh, you know, they're ready to hire someone. They need to hire someone quickly. You don't want to add extra steps that they have to go through to figure out the price and all that. So, you know, this person's pretty much out as well. 
And then, um, and then here, here's the last one, which has quite a high price actually. Um, oh, probably because of, it's a rush job express delivery. Anyway, um, also plus QA. I just wanted QA in the uh, in the title, and it, it's because that's part of the title of the business document that needs to be translated. I, it's not that I wanted. I, I don't know what that means exactly. Anyway, so out of these four quotes, so out of the 21 quotes that I received, only four actually followed the instructions to have the title in. And I then after that, I can still delete one because it didn't have a price per word. So only three out of the 21, that's one seventh of all the, uh, of all the quotes I received are ones that I'm actually going to consider. And uh, anyway, then I won't go into it because actually one of them didn't have correct grammar in their English. So that was easy to you know, to take out, and then there were only two left. So, um, and in fact, yeah, the one that gave a really high price was was too high and said, yeah, this is a high price for a rush job, but I mean, it's it's too high that. Um, and in fact, I think in his description, he then says 0 0.15 euros. But look, my point is this, even before reading the full description of what they write, I was able to whittle it down so much just by having that simple instruction. So that's why I'm telling you, please follow the instructions just by following the instructions of what the people want when they're hiring, um, you know, will really put you above the pack and, and, and surprisingly so. And, uh, and so, you know, simple things, follow the instructions. And I've mentioned this also before many times, have correct English, you know, don't make spelling mistakes or grammar mistakes when you write to people, have someone look, else look over it if you have to. But you know, this job is Italian into English. I need native English speakers. So if you're making mistakes in your English here, then forget it. Um, and then, uh, and then, yeah, don't add extra steps that people have to go through. So, you know, don't do this where you don't enter a price. You have to enter a price. You can later put in the description, say, this is a rush job price, or this is this and that price or whatever. If there's flexibility, that's fine, but at least enter some sort of price. So, you know, uh, we don't have to then ask you for it and all that, because I did later check this person's uh, description. Once again, I'm not scrolling down to the descriptions because it'll show their name and info and all that. But um, this person's description, you know, she didn't say any price. You know, she just gave a whole lot of information with no price. And so anyway, I, um, I just wanted to share this and just to show that just by making sure things are correct, by doing a little bit of quality control before you send these emails out and before you send these re requests, you know, responses to request for a quotation, like just a little bit can really put you ahead of the pack because um, here just literally following the instructions makes sure that you do better than, you know, it's better than six sevenths of the people, you know, and, uh, and because only one out of seven actually uh, follow the instructions correctly. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I find it quite interesting. And, uh, you know, just to show you that, you know, by doing things correctly can really put you ahead of the pack. And, um, and of course, then later you need to do a good job with the translation and, and all that. Um, that goes without saying, but you know, to make sure that you can actually follow instructions and you pay attention to detail, that really helps me to see what kind of a translator you are. And so you really should do stuff like that. So anyway, I just want to share that quickly. Hopefully you can find it useful when you're looking for jobs, when you're replying to uh, job requests, whether it be on, on pros or translators cafe or anything along those lines. And, uh, so yeah, um, that's it for now and I'll talk to you in the next video. Okay. Thanks. Bye.